it's a great pleasure to I, see I, you. I, I, hang on, let me just un, let me mute oh. everyone and just unmute yourself. Okay. Before. Well, it's a great pleasure to welcome you this evening to Kenton's Kabbalah Shabbat and uh, Shabbat Shalom to you all. And before we have the pleasure of having Stuart leading us <clears throat> in Kabbalah Shabbat, uh, it's a great pleasure now to hand over to Lee Lewis, who we're going to wish Mazel Tov and a high and rock him. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much, Michelle. Yes, yesterday was my Hebrew birthday and Today is my mother's yacht site, so I'd like to really dedicate this to her memory. Um, I walk, Today being the first of Elul, that's Friday being the first of Elul, um, we actually start saying Psalm 27, which is the David Hashem Ori, um, and continue for ages into the future of Shemini Atzeris. Now, that's what I was going to talk about, but I'm actually not going to. Because something occurred at the fundraising dinner last Sunday, well, which maybe changed my mind and brought up another subject. I have to say that the fundraising dinner last Sunday was fantastic. The guest speaker was, as always, is terrific. And the arrangements, the food, the table, everything was fantastic. So I like a big shakoyach to, to all those people who organised it. It really was a wonderful evening. The table I sat at was a lot of fun as well. And there were two people on the table that I had actually never met before. And when you do that, you tend to talk a little bit and find out some bits about you. And one of the guys sitting there, it, it turned out that he was also, many, many moons ago, at Preston Manor School, as I was. And so we started talking about that. And he asked me a question, which was, do you remember a teacher such and such? So I said, oh, yes, that teacher was well known for. And I said what he was well known for. And he laughed. And then he asked me, did I know such and such a teacher? And I said, another teacher. And I said, yeah, I remember that one. That teacher was well known for something else. And, and he laughed again. But it wasn't ha, 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 this is funny. The laughter was more in shock. You see, if these teachers that we were talking about, if they did today what they did then they would be in prison because i'm talking about sexual abuse and physical abuse these teachers did things and we're not talking about behind somewhere private this was in class in front of a lot of people but in those days nobody did anything because if you complained it was always the fact that the teachers were relieved and the pupils weren't I then started to speak to him about some other teachers and where, and he said, why, what did they do? I said, well, they were racist, absolute racist, not just against pupils. And we, at that time, we had very few non-white people at Preston Man, but also racist against the one non-white school teacher, a colleague of theirs, who was also subjected to some of the most horrendous abuse you could ever imagine. Fortunately, none of this stuff actually happened to me, but I was present at all the little stories I tell. I was present at all of the incidents. I did witness them. So they're not taken from playground gossip or anything else like that. And it really is shocking. So while I still remember it very clearly, can you imagine how those children who were the victims of it, how they feel? And although even though it was 60 years ago, it's horrendous. In tomorrow's Sedra, Shoftim, which starts with the word Shoftim, Shatrim, Titen Lecha, judges and officers you will appoint for yourself. And they will mete out the justice. And the verse goes on to, or the verses go on to talk, use the famous phrase, Sedek, Sedek, Tirodov, justice, justice you will pursue. Now, whether there is a website or a or a or whatever it is, I can't remember the name of the app, um, which has this all this stuff from Preston Manor suddenly coming to light. I don't know because I'm not part of it. But I need to hunt it down. Because if these teachers' reputations are going to be glowing lights when in fact they were awful, 
The Torah tells us we must meet out justice. There is no statute of limitation. There isn't a time limit before a crime doesn't count anymore. Those teachers could have ruined people's lives. They were abusive, they were nasty, and it did have an effect in the, in the class, let alone to the absolute victim of each one of those as, as sexual or, or uh, bodily assaults. It's terrible things to think about. I hadn't thought about it for many years, but it was the, the fundraising dinner and speaking to this guy that reminded me and brought it all back. The Torah has it right. You must, you must always pursue justice. You must always make sure that the victim gets an, a chance to be heard, to speak their case. And if it means the ruination of reputations, so be it. I'm sorry to say this, it's very harsh. You don't normally hear me speak this way, but it brought back such memories of people suffering, people being unhappy. It wasn't funny. The laughter that the person I was talking to gave, he wasn't laughing because it was funny. He was laughing because he couldn't believe that it was still going on in his day, let alone at any other time. So the authorities have a lot to answer for. I'm going to hunt down this, um, this, this website or whatever chat thing it is, and I'm going to give my tuppence worth. The Torah tells us that we must appoint judges and they must mete out justice efficiently and properly, not taking sides and hearing the evidence from everybody and uh, truthfully and honestly. That's my message as we enter, and we should think about that for the for in our lives as we come towards the month that leads up to Rosh Hashanah when we become judged, judged ourselves for our behavior and what we do. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Well, thank you very much, Lee Shakoya, to you, and thank you very much for your profound thoughts. And we do hope that um, these members of staff get found out and actions taken. Thank you. Now, it's my great pleasure to hand over to Stuart Lee.